meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Majestic Flowers and Gifts, your trusted family-owned and operated florist since 2006. Our loyal customers are always satisfied with our attention to detail and customer service. We serve all of Morris County and offer deliveries for any flower needs. Providing our customers with a variety of flowers, from prom flowers to anniversary arrangements, wedding centerpieces, get well soon flowers, funeral flowers, and much more. Next time you're thinking of getting flowers for your loved ones and special occasions, rely on Majestic Flowers and Gifts to provide nothing but the highest quality. Stuber Insurance Agency, we work diligently to make sure you get the right insurance for you, your family, and your employees. Within our carefully selected group of financially sound insurance companies, our goal is to find you the best coverage at the most competitive prices. Visit us online to request a quote or make an appointment at 115 Mill Street in Hackettstown. The groups that brought down the house. The legends who changed the world of music. Iconic moments of our lives captured for eternity by the great photographers of our time. All on display and for sale at Legends Gallery at Frames on Main in Chatham. Own the moments and keep alive your most treasured memories. And don't miss our huge gallery of sports art and memorabilia. Or our expert framing of your most valued memories and keepsakes. Legends Gallery at Frames on Main in Chatham. Introducing Gemstone Orthodontics, where brilliance meets compassion in crafting your perfect smile. With a board-certified orthodontist, Dr. Patel, your smile is in expert hands. Our commitment to the latest advancements in technology bring precision and comfort to your orthodontic experience. Whether you are considering braces or liners for yourself or for your child, call today at 908-852-9899 or visit us at www.gemstoneortho.com to schedule a complimentary consultation. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call. We'll take your task, transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. Brian, we just got a text from your wife. She wants to trade in her car for something else. Chief, I'm a little busy. Uh, she wants it now. Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brian. The fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us? Paul Miller Fast Lane? Who else would do it? Buy a car, trade a car, finance a car, have it delivered completely online. This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, Brian. Isn't that the truth? It's the Fast Lane winner. It's the only way to fly. That's Fast Lane. Powered by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. 
is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Shop and service at your most trusted local Ford dealership, serving Morris, Sussex, and all of New Jersey. Come experience why so many people buy and service from us over and over again. Our sales and service department make you feel at home, and there's never any pressure. Maplecrest Ford of Mendham is here for all your vehicle needs. For sales and service, call 888-797-7003 or go to maplecrestford.com. Sport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes to buying your new Acura. So why shop with dealers that don't value your time or play games with you? Why not choose a dealership that always values their clients' time and has set a benchmark in customer service for nearly 40 years? Make it easy. Choose Autosport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Autosport Acura of Denville. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry, the team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. you can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. The County College of Morris Foundation Annual Golf Classic is coming to Brook Lake Country Club in Flora Park on Monday, October 16th. Golfers will enjoy 18 holes of golf on one of New Jersey's premier courses between a barbecue lunch spread and a buffet dinner. Registration begins at 11 a.m., giving golfers access to the locker room, driving range, and lunch in the clubhouse before our 12.30 shotgun start. At 5 p.m., enjoy an open bar cocktail reception prior to our 6 p.m. dinner and awards program. Proceeds benefit CCM student athletes. Register online at ccm.edu slash foundation slash golf. James Ultimo, your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. Step-by-step -step painting and general contracting. 
your trusted partner for all your home needs. For over two decades, we've brought our clients' visions to life throughout northern New Jersey. Our team of professionals and commitment to excellence deliver outstanding results. From painting, bathroom and kitchen renovations, additions, remodeling, and custom faux work, we've got you covered. Our team tackles projects of all sizes and complexities. Step-by-step -step painting, building dreams, one project at a time. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here. The green wave isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. Let's go! We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true to putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll wave. Visit Angelina's Trotteria, located at 184 Columbia Turnpike, Florham Park, New Jersey. We are your neighborhood BYOB. Stop in and join us for lunch or dinner. Angelina's is proud to offer visitors the following specials. Tuesdays are two for two large pizzas for only $22. On Wednesdays, kids under 10 eat free. Thursday night is pasta night. All pastas on the menu are 20% off. Family serving friends can stop into Angelina's and let our family serve yours. Contact Mary Camito for an auto quote today. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial. The goal we reset and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, oh, in the end zone, it is caught. Charge, good for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score! And that is a base hit, the run will score. And Freshman, pull the check, gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three, he got it! Uh -huh. Escorted by his parents Christine and Jamar, his step parents Jason and Daisy, and his brother Jordan. Next we have Gabe Oy. Gabe is being escorted by Danielle Riley. Gabe also wrestles.
Our final football senior is Nick Mendoza. Nick is being escorted by his mother, Romina, his father, Bernardo. Nick is also a wrestler. Since the football players have to leave, let's have a nice round of applause for our football seniors. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll start with the cheerleaders now. Our first cheerleader is Brittany Smedley. Being escorted by her mother, Debbie, and brother, Tyler. She's also a peer leader. She's a member of the National Art Honor Society, and she's an all-star cheer. Next is Catherine Van Tassel. Catherine's being escorted by her father, William. She's been a four-year varsity cheerleader. Next up is Finley Brown. Finley's being escorted by parents Tanya and Sean, her brother Kellen, her sister Dylan. She's also a statistician for the wrestling and baseball teams. She's a peer leader and coaches youth cheerleading. Next is Fiona Marie Postis, being escorted by parents John and Deb. She's also a four-year track star, track participant. Um, Participates in the musical and is a member of FBLA. Next is Gabriella Spadora, being escorted by her dad, Peter. She's a member of HOSA and Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Next is Jasmine Lino, being escorted by her mom, Leah. She's a member of the National Art Honor Society and basketball. Next, we have Jordan Seidel. She's being escorted by her mom, Catherine, her father, Michael, her stepmom, Brina, her stepdad, Sean, her sister, Alita. She's cheered for four years as a member of the National Art Honor Society. Next is Keely Korger. Keely's being escorted by her parents, Stacy and Jeffrey. She's a member of All-Star Cheer, multiple National Honor Societies, and is a peer leader. Next we have Kennedy Hinton. Being escorted by her mom, Anil, her dad, Terrell, and her brother, Asai. She's a peer leader, four-year member of cheer. Next is Michelle Wanicki, being escorted by mom, Cassandra. She's a member of the National Honor Society of, of High School Scholars, National Art Honor Society, and is a member of student council. Next is Olivia Messenger, being escorted by parents Annie and Mike. She's her class co-president, a peer leader, and is a member of multiple national honor societies. Right, our final cheerleader is Zora Reinley, 
So you can score by parents Tula and Ed and her brother Alekos. She's a member of the basketball team. Let's hear it for a cheerleading squad. Okay, now all of our senior members of the marching band. First up is Sophia Choi, being escorted by her parents Justin and Lisa. She's also a member of the jazz band, as well as the National Honor Society and National Art Honor Society. Next is Emily Cubby, being escorted by her parents Kelly and Wes. She's in the spring mu musical, choir, and the jazz band. Next we have Emily Dora, being escorted by her parents Wayne and Lori and her brother Zachary. Still a member of the jazz band, indoor and spring tracks, and National Art Honor Society. Next is Dawson Garcia, being escorted by her, man, her mom Frances. She's a member of the jazz band and National Spanish Honor Society. Next is Sierra Hartley, being escorted by her mom Ingrid. She's also a member of the jazz band, Big Brothers of Big Sisters, and Pass It Along. Next we have Josh Mendez, being escorted by his parents Lori and Joe, and his brother Joseph. Also a member of the jazz band, choir, and peer leaders. Next we have Joshua Simmons, being scored by his parents Bryant and Charlene, member of FBLA and is the varsity tennis captain. Next is Lily Topachnik, being scored by her parents Brian and Tara and her brother Sam, also a member of jazz band, the choir, and multiple national honor societies. Next is Georgia Wheeler, being scored by parents Diane and Andrew. She's a member of the National Art Honor Society, NHS, and the Spring Musical Crew. And finally, our last member of the marching band is Elisa Zumitra, being scored by her mom Debbie. She's a member of the jazz band, the Spring Musical Crew, and peer leaders. Have a nice round of applause for our marching band seniors. Behind the goal, we reset, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. 
Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, in the end zone, it is caught. Charge, good for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score! And that is a base hit, the run will score. And Freshman, pull a check, gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is gonna make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three, he got it! And welcome everybody, we are live from Walk Hill Valley Regional High School in beautiful Hamburg, Sussex County, New Jersey, as Mara Sussex Sports presents high school football, a rainy, cold afternoon here at Walk Hill Valley. It's the Hackettstown Tigers up against the Walk Hill Valley Rangers. And welcome to Walk Hill Valley. You see the rain coming down, everybody. I'm Joel Kanya. Pleasure once again having you with us right here on Morris Sussex Sports. You see Hackestown coming in. Listen, Hackestown had a very tough week. The entire town of Hackestown had a very tough week. They come in one and six. We'll talk about that in a second. Walk Hill Valley comes in at two and five. We'd like to thank all our sponsors, first of all, before we start talking about the game. And let's thank the Hackestown High School Football Booster Club. Wishing the Tigers a great football season. If any local businesses or Tiger families would like to help sponsor a game, please contact the Booster Club at hhstigersfootball at gmail.com. Not only a great way to advertise your business, but also support your Tigers football team. Families can also have the opportunity to shout out to their favorite players. So thank you to the all season long to the Hackson High School Football Booster Club. Also for the Walk Hill Valley sponsors, Growing and Knowing Academy, celebrating 10 years of unparalleled early educational excellence at GKA. You can always be sure your child will not only have one of a kind educational journey, but also become part of the GKA family. Quote, it takes a village to raise a child. Join now and let us become part of your village and quote every day you will be excited to hear the answer to your question at the dinner table how was your day contact them 973-209-1350 or gk academy at outlook.com also being brought to you by krp automotive repair in franklin it's sussex county's most trusted automotive repair shop as displayed by being the only five-star google rated shop we are a full-service foreign, domestic, and diesel repair shop. We have displayed our commitment to community by offering our customers a way to save money with an express oil change service priced at $19.95 for regular and $39.95 for synthetic. You can make an appointment online with a live appointment scheduling at krpauto.com or give them a call 973-577-6390. We fix everything, KRP Automotive Repair. And once again, we also like to bring awareness to pancreatic cancer and all the people who are battling this terrible disease, including our very own longtime play-by-play -play announcer, Brett Luthner. He was on the call last night, Somerville, Hillsboro. He sounded great. He was diagnosed this past summer. He bravely started treatment about a month ago. And uh, we wish him all the best. Cancer is no match for Brett, but we ask that you send prayers and good energy his way. All right, a rainy, cold day here at Walk Hill Valley. The rain is not going to stop, and it just keeps coming down. This is natural turf. It's going to be a muddy field as we watch Walk Hill Valley come out onto the field. Walk Hill, both these teams have lost four in a row. Hackstown, like you said, one and six. Walk Hill Valley, two and five. And I do want to mention one thing before we get started, before I bring in my partner, Jesse Londino. Hackstown's had a very tough week this week. They lost one of their own, a senior, and it was one of the football player's twin sisters, Isabel Todaro. It's Louis Todaro's sister. We've called Louis's name many times here at Morris Sussex Sports. One of the best players Hackstown football has. And tragically, he lost his twin sister last Friday. So from everybody here at Mara Sussex Sports, we think of the Tataro family. We send our condolences. 
and we wish everybody the best. A tragic and awful situation, and Hackettstown was torn this week. It was a very tough week in Hackettstown with the funeral, the memorial. They had a vigilite, candle vigilite uh, 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 on Tuesday night that saw over a thousand people there, so it was very tough, very tough for these kids. Walk Hill Valley's also felt it, was talking to Bobby Leach before the game, and he feels just awful. So very tough week for this Hackestown football team and the entire town of Hackestown. We are thinking of the Todaro family. And they will have a moment of silence here, which is a nice thing to do for Walk Hill Valley. Let me bring in Jesse Landino. He's my partner today. And Jesse, Hackestown comes in. Let's talk about them under coach Mike Arakelian in his second season. They have struggled this year. They had, you know, they, they, we talk about this every week. They could have started better and they made mistakes and then it's just gone downhill. They've lost four in a row. And I think one of the big keys is losing quarterback Nick Patterson. And, you know, they typically ran a spread offense, but now we're going to see how their offense changes with that wing tee as they've done it for the past couple weeks. Yeah, they started doing that last week at Newton. Matt Gunther will take over at quarterback again today. The throwing guy, the throwing quarterback, will be Ethan Campbell. But they actually played pretty decent last week. I know they lost big to the Newton Braves, 34-13, but they didn't play terrible, and they showed some signs of, of uh, offense last week. They scored 13. They almost scored one at the end of the first half. So well, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how they run again now the second week of this single wing T. Now for the Walker Valley Rangers, you got Bobby Leach crazily walking out there in bare feet. i got to say that every time we do a game here, good guy. Uh, but Bobby, uh, yes, he's barefoot today on that natural grass. You'll eventually see it event, uh, sometime during the broadcast. It's going to be a muddy field. Uh, the field's in pretty good shape, though. I was on the field before the game. But they also have lost four games in a row. I think one of their keys for this ha Waco Valley offense is getting their quarterback, Zach Clarkin, going. He's got a great season so far, 1,200 yards, seven touchdowns, and two picks. And Clarkin... Jesse can also run the football. He's run it in to the end zone six different times. Uh, 139 yards on 74 carries. Not a great yardage, but he has scored six touchdowns. He will be looking at Jaden McNeil, who is their wide receiver. He also has caught six touchdowns. Defensively, we're looking at Nick Mendoza, Luke Riley. They have six seniors on this team. It is a... Isabella and we'll step aside right now. Thank you. Now please remain standing for our national anthem.
Very nice rendition of the national anthem by Annette Nathan, a junior from Walk Hill Valley. Very nice job. A rainy, you see the rain coming down, a cold day, October here at Walk Hill Valley Regional High School. And we didn't even mention Walk Hill Valley as we sit right now, they are in the state playoffs. Yes, I know they're two and five, but the way it's set up, they're in North Group One. They're the 14th ranked seed right now, so they will get a state playoff game. So this is a big game for Walk Hill Valley, plus for Power Points playing a Group 3 school. Yeah, I mean, this is a big game, and they got a big one next week as well. And we'll see how they do today with these terrible conditions. But, I mean, like I was saying earlier with the key player for Walk Hill, Zach Clarkin, who knows, maybe the weather is a big problem and they might have to get the running game going. Pakistan in North Group 3, they will receive the ball in their away black and orange uniforms. The kickoff by Walk Hill Valley, a one hopper at the 23 yard line. Here's Matt Gunther, their best athlete, runs across the 40 out to the 43 yard line. And once again, a nice touch here at Walk Hill Valley with that moment of silence before the game. So it's nice to see that. And when, when a tragedy happens, it's nice to see the community come around and the other communities come out with support of the other. So Hackensound starts in this single T the single wing offense. You see Matt Gunther, he's in a shotgun. We'll see how it works. High snap, and they fake the handoff, and who gets it right off the bat? And does Hackestown recover? Yes, they do. So Hackestown recovered that, and again, it's a wet day. The rain is out, and you see the first snap was missed by, or the handoff was muffed, so. No harm for Hackensown. Now, second down, you see Matt Gunther going to the left, and he slips up. And just like that, you see the, the field conditions affect the game already, the first two snaps. You know, and we were talking about it before the game. I was here with you against Hackettstown week one, and they had their snap problems, and they were able to fix it during the season, but these weather conditions are clearly a problem as of right now. Watch this where you know in the center of the field it's muddy and right there he slipped down here's a passing play and it's picked off intercepted by walk hill valley zach clarkin with the interception as we come back to live action and we missed it clarkin picks off the pass there for hackettstown and they get the ball right back that is clarkin's third interception of the season so Hackenstown puts it in the air on third down and they throw an interception and now Walk Hill Valley takes over in great field position at the Hackenstown. Well, they're marking it off now. Are they going to mark it off? Was there a flag on the play? I didn't see a flag. But they put the ball on the 44-yard line. So there was a foul, uh, a flag, I guess, against Walk Hill on that run back, but it is Walk Hill Valley football. Zach Clarkin with that pick. So a big play for Walk Hill Valley. So Walk Hill takes over at the Hackettstown 44. And led by Zach Clarkin. We're all gonna, also going to see Jaden McNeil, number 11, a lot as they hand off to Gabe Oy on the carry. And nice job by that Hackensack Tigers defense wrapping up right off the bat. And it is a second down, loss of a yard on the play. And again, the rain, it's a steady rain here at Walk Hill Valley. You can see it coming down. You could only imagine it's going to keep on getting worse as the rain comes down. Yeah, we'll see how the field takes all this rain during this game. Clarkin up to his center, pitches it back. This is Anthony Sigori. Sigori finds some room left side, gets the first down, knocked out of bounds inside the 30 to the 26 yard line, and a good running play by the senior, Anthony Segroy. 
you got to give a lot of credit to that offensive line, paving the way for Segroy, able to get the first down. Yeah, we're talking to Bobby Leach before the game, he's he's frustrated. It's been a tough year for them. You know, his line's been struggling all season, and it's a little frustrating for the Walk Hill Valley coach. Well, that was a good play right there for the Rangers. First down from the 25 of Hackettstown. Clarkin comes up to his center. I formation, they pitch it back. Segroy again with the carry, and he gets a few yards inside the 20-yard line. He is wrapped up by Kyle Edwards, the junior for the Hackettstown Tigers. And you know, we were talking about it pregame, about these muddy conditions, and you could already tell on Segroy's jersey, it's already dirty, and it's going to get much dirtier with these all-white uniforms for Walk Hill Valley. All-white, perfect for a muddy day, isn't it, Jesse? I'm sure every single mom is going to love their laundry after. <laughs> First down, a pickup of seven right there. Second and three for Walk Hill Valley inside Hackettstown territory at the 18-yard line. Inside handoff. This is Oy. It looks like he gets the first down. Depends where they mark the football. They do give him the first down. So first down for Walk Hill. They mark it at the 15-yard line with 8.18 to go in the first quarter. Everybody here from Mars Sussex Sports, glad you're with us on a rainy day. I know there are a lot of people that probably didn't venture outside. So we welcome everybody watching in the Walk Hill Valley area and the Hackettstown area. Sit back, enjoy in the warmth of your home, and stay dry and watch Mars Sussex Sports today. Should have a good one here at Walk Hill Valley. First down for the Rangers from the 15-yard line. Offset eye, inside handoff. This is Oy again. A couple of yards on the play. Good job by that Tigers defense. Trevor Edwards in on that tackle, number 36. Give him two yards on the play. That brings up a second and eight. And I love this decision for Bobby Leach's offense. It doesn't look like they're going to pass too much in the first drive as it's second down. They got a lot of tight formations, and I love the decision so far. Now, like you said, Clarkin throws the ball a lot. You said that in the pregame show. He's having a very good year, over 1,200 yards passing, but he has not thrown the ball. It is raining hard, and this is Segroy with the carry. Nothing there. That Hackettstown defense, and a fumble on the plane. It's Hackettstown ball. Let's see if we can see that. So Hackettstown comes out with a turnover and the fumble recovery. Let's see if we could see what happens here. They hand off to Segroy. Yeah, he, he didn't even get the handoff cleanly there, and Hackasound pounced on it, and they get the football right back. So the fumble for Walk Hill Valley. Hackastown takes over at their own 18-yard line. High snap again. They run the football. A couple of yards on the play. And it looks like it was number 60, Gio Galacio, able to come up with the ball for Hackastown. Gio's had a very good season, the senior for the Tigers. 6.40 to go here in the first quarter. Gunther takes the ball. Matt Gunther right side, and then he gets the first down out to the 25-yard line. And a first down for the Hackettstown Tigers. They mark it at the 24, but it is a first down for Hackettstown. On their own 24-yard line. Matt Gunther, man in motion. They try to simplify everything in this offense, and it's Gunther again up the gut out to the 27-yard line. We're going to see a lot of Matt Gunther today. I mean, he's one of their best athletes for Hackettstown, and although they don't have their starting quarterback, it's great because they're getting one of their best athletes the ball almost every single play. Rain continues to fall, 5.45 on the clock in the first quarter. A second and seven for Hackettstown. Handoff, this is Sam Burke, left, right side. He gets out of bounds right at the first down marker. Depends where they mark the football. And they do give him a first down, so good run by Sam Burke. And they mark it at the 35-yard line. So now Hackettstown's keeping it on the ground after that interception on their first drive. And Waco's got to be careful because they almost had 12 men on the field. 
Another high snap. This is a handoff. Left side across the 35 to the 36 yard line. And a gain of maybe a yard on the play. So a second and nine coming up for the Tigers. Tigers in their away blacks. Wachill in their home whites, silver helmets, and black lettering. They are getting muddy. It always is fun doing a game on natural turf and you cannot read the numbers. Let's see if that happens today. Low snap again, a problem with the snap. Gunther can't get it. He finally jumps on it at the 24 yard line. So yeah, you talked about the snaps early in the season. They seem to fix that the last few games, but it's back here today and you gotta blame the weather a lot of, t a lot of a part of it on this weather. And you wonder if Hackettstown has practiced under center at all this week and maybe that might be the fix for the, the rest of the game. It brings up a third and long. We'll see this snap. Again, it was low and Gunther couldn't handle it. Then he dropped it there for a wet ball and he jumps on it. Smart move on his part by jumping on that. Third down, a high snap. Gunther looking to throw. Gunther throws it far and it's incomplete. Intended receiver was about five yards shy. A flag is thrown. Let's see what it is. Illegal man downfield. So Walk Hill Valley will decline it. That'll bring up fourth down. And Hackensound's going to have to punt the football. So they've already put the ball in the air twice in this game. But they'll punt the ball with 3.57 remaining on the clock in All the first quarter. Although they weren't able to get any receiving yards on both of those passing plays, both of their receivers were open, so maybe they'll come back to that. So Gunther back deep, he'll punt. Two back for Walk Hill Valley. And now another flag is thrown. Maybe a legal motion against the Tigers. As the officials still talk it over. Okay, now they, that was, uh, was an equipment issue, we just were told. So an equipment issue on the, it looks like the shoulder pads. So Gunther back, he'll punt the football. It takes a Hackettstown roll, takes a nice kick right there, and it'll drop at the 41 yard line. So Walk Hill Valley takes over from their own 41 yard line. 335 remaining here in the, 336 to be exact, here in the first quarter as Walk Hill will take over on this rain-soaked field at Walk Hill Valley Regional. You don't see too many natural turf fields anymore, not too many day games anymore, but we got everything going on here in Hamburg today. And with the field conditions, like we've been saying all day so far, you gotta assume that special team is gonna be a key point for both teams with punting and everything, just gotta be on their P's and Q's. 3.36 in the first quarter, Clarkin comes back out to his huddle. And although they haven't been able to get the running game going, I would love to get see this Walk Hill offense get back to what they're used to and letting Clark and rip it out. Under center, hands off, up the middle. Right there is Sam Burke. That was Scroy with the carry. Give him two yards on the play. That brings up a second and two. Once again, we'd like to thank all our sponsors, Growing and Knowing Academy. They celebrate 10 years of unparalleled early education excellence. Contact them at 973-209-1350 or gkacademy at outlook.com. Every day you will be excited to hear the answer to your question at the dinner table. How was your day? GKA, Growing and Knowing Academy. Second down for Walk Hill. They run the football, get out to the 45 yard line, and that is it. And that's going to bring up a third and six for Walk Hill. Cold, rainy day. Coach Bobby Leach for Walk Hill Valley is barefoot on the sideline. He's barefoot in 
hot weather, cold weather, snow, rain like today. It makes my feet already cold just thinking about it. But you, he is barefoot out there. You wonder if he gets any pedicures, how often <laughs> he gets them. I would think he keeps them very busy. Third down, back to pass. Clark and throwing. Flags are thrown a little too high. This is going to go against Walkell Valley, and Hackensaw will probably decline it, and they do. And that brings up fourth down. It was a false start for Walkell Valley, so Hackettstown declines it. It is fourth down, and Walkill Valley is going to have to punt the football. And if you're a Hackettstown, you've got to be happy with how this game has started. As you were saying in the pregame, They've been able to start games well. They just haven't been able to finish them. So they'll punt the football. Segroy back. Hackestown last week losing to Newton at Newton, 34-13. Actually didn't play terribly last week. And a kick is a high snap, and he got the kick off, but it was a short kick. The kick by the punter, Gabe Oy. And Hackensaw takes over right at midfield. They're going to give it to them at the Walk Hill Valley 49-yard line. So after <clears throat> the punt, less than two minutes to go in the first quarter, let's see what the Tigers could do offensively. Now you look at the Tigers in North Group 3, uh, you know, they're, they're ranked number 23. They, they're really not talking playoffs. If they win out, now they play Warren Hills next week on senior night next Friday. Here's Matt Gunther up the middle. But they're sitting at 23. they got to be the top 16. If they win out today in a Group 3 school, Warren Hills, I don't know if they even have a shot there, but they might to make the state playoffs. But the Warren Hills games game is in jeopardy right now because they had to cancel their game last night. They had a forfeit to Montville because of too many injuries. Run up the middle for Hackettstown. That brings up third down. And you know, you were just talking about Warren Hills. It's sad to see because they've had such a great season so far. They had, an, they're, I think they're third ranked. Yeah, they're number three in North Group Three. So they're, they have a home field, home game as of right now coming into this weekend. But they had a forfeit. Gunther up the middle. He's met right away. And he does not get the first down. Van Mullen with the tackle for Walk Hill Valley. Jake Van Mullen, the junior with a good tackle. So fourth down, they mark it at the 44-yard line. And you wonder with how this game is going, if they have any trick plays up their sleeve. 40 seconds left first quarter. They will go for it here, Hackenstown. Fourth and five. They have to get to the 39. Here's Matt Gunther trying to get that corner. Gunther finds a hole. He gets the first down inside the 35. And they're going to mark him right at the 35-yard line. And Gunther, you see him driving into that hole, a first down for Hackettstown. 19 seconds remaining. We'll see it again as Gunther will... Jumps over. We didn't see that. We're looking at the replay of Gunther hitting that hole. The last play of the first quarter we missed it but Gunther jumped over one of his players and he got he lost a yard or two and that's the end of the first quarter here at Walk Hill Valley Regional High School no score in the pouring rain at Walk Hill we'll be back with the second quarter after this right here on Morris Sussex Sports Cortez Disposal is a leader in the solid waste industry. We offer dumpster roll-off containers for residential, commercial, and industrial needs all over New Jersey. We are women-owned and family-operated. Cortez Disposal, where, where your garbage, garbage is our life. life.
We're back in Hamburg, second and 12 for Hackettstown, and slipped up, and you see Sam Burke right there slipping, and on that wet field, and a loss of a couple of yards back to the 40-yard line. So now it's a third down and long. They have to get to the 26, so third and 14 for Hackettstown. Joel Kanye, Jesse Londino along with you here at Walk Hill Valley Regional High School. Cold, rainy day in middle October. Nice having you with us here on Mars Sussex Sports. Gunther in the single wing tee up the gut. It gets a few yards, still on his feet, but gang tackled by Walkill Valley out to the 36 yard line. But that is it, fourth down. That'll bring up a fourth and 10 for the Tigers. And they're gonna, looks like they're gonna punt the football with Ethan Campbell coming in. And you know, one thing I've noticed so far for this Walkill team, we were talking about how dirty their jerseys are. They've been able to keep Zach Clark and clean as he's got the only fresh white uniform they haven't really passed too much. It's a good point. Snap, high, Campbell, good punt. Angles it out of bounds. And let's see where they'll mark this football. But Walker will have not so good field position here as we start the second quarter. They're gonna mark it at the 15 yard line. So Walker starts at their own 15. Early second quarter action, no score. It's been a sloppy start to this game with a sloppy field. Folks, I'd like to thank KRP Automotive Repair and Frank Franklin, their Sussex County's most trusted automotive, automotive repair shop, as displayed by being the only five-star Google-rated shop. Get an oil change right now, 1995, regular, 39.95, synthetic. Make an appointment online with a live appointment scheduling at krpauto.com or call 973-577-6390. We fix everything, KRP Automotive Repair. Run, right Run right for Walk Hill. That is Scroy with the carry. They start at the 15, give them two yards, two to three yards on that play, They'll bring up a second down. You know, in a big reason for this Waco offense not being able to get going is their passing game hasn't been able to get anything going. They got one of their best options outside, number 11, Jaden McNeil. He hasn't even had a target yet. And that is most likely because of the weather. There's no doubt about that. Clarkin comes up to his center. Offset eye. They hand off. Scroy again across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Shy of a first down. But that'll bring up third and manageable for Walk Hill Valley. They have to get out to the 25. They're on the 21. See those white jerseys starting to get dirtied up. Folks, take a look at our lower right hand banners. Those are our trading card sponsors. Very proud trading cards. Check them out on our Instagram page put out a bunch yesterday. They are so cool, those trading cards. I love them. These kids, we you know, we want to give every athlete a free card, and by you sponsoring, by these guys sponsoring, we really appreciate it. And they're getting in front of millions and millions of views a week, four to five million views a week, as Walk Hill drives up the middle, nowhere to go. And that brings up fourth down. They are short of a first down. But if you want to get in front of millions and sponsor those trading cards, give George Muha a call or email him at george at marsussexsports.com. It's a really great, unique way to advertise your business. There's an injury timeout. A Hackistan player is down. We'll take a break. No score here. Second quarter. We'll be back on Mars Sussex Sports. Did you know that safe medication disposal not only protects your young athletes, but also the environment they play in? Be a proactive guardian. Safeguard your home by disposing of medications properly through drop-off sites in New Jersey, located at most police departments and designated pharmacies. By doing so, you help prevent pollution of our precious environment, ensuring clean waterways and healthier surroundings for your young champions. Make a positive impact on their lives and the planet. Safely dispose of unused and unwanted medications today. 
DNA Landscaping, we service all of your lawn care needs. We are a full service lawn care and landscaping company providing traditional needs such as lawn maintenance, planting, trimming, mulch, tree removal, and stump grinding, as well as landscape design and snow removal. With over 10 years of experience serving Morris and Sussex counties with both residential and commercial properties, call DNA Landscaping at 973-223-5845. Walkhill goes for it on fourth down off the injury timeout, and they get the first down. That was Scroy with the carry, number three for Walkhill. And the market at the 30-yard line and a first down for Walkhill Valley. So they took a chance deep in their own territory. And they got the first down. It was fourth and one. And you got to love the decision. Trusting your plays, able to get the first down. And for both teams running the ball a lot, you got to assume that one of these plays are going to break free. 8.06 on the clock. By the way, the injured player was Kyle Edwards, and he seemed okay as he walked off the field. First down for Walk Hill Valley. They will keep it on the ground. And this is... Segroy again, and a nice job by Derna in there, and also Matt Taberzi, number 26, in on that tackle for Hackettstown. So a yard on the play, second and nine for Walkill. Rain still coming down here in Sussex County. You know, if you're an old-time Oh, yeah. Lover of football, you got to love this game. Oh, yeah. And it's funny, like, you're right. The quarterback for Walkell is perfectly clean out there. He has not been touched. He pitches it back. This is Segroy again, right side, but right there, Hackettstown is there. And I believe that was Taberzi again with the tackle and a second down. Or check that, a third down. Good pursuit by the Tigers. They mark it at the 30-yard line. And I know we haven't been able to see Zach Clark and rip it down the field, but he's only a junior, so it's a great sign for this Walk Hill Valley team next year. Who was that? Got in there, 26, and who came in from the uh, defensive backfield? I couldn't see that number. Terrific play for Hackettstown. So third and long, third and 11 for Walk Hill Valley from their own 29. There's Clark and he's gonna throw the football. Under pressure, Clark and looking, still on his feet, and he's finally brought down by that Hackettstown defense. He is sacked at the 25 yard line, and that's gonna bring up fourth down, and now he's gonna get dirty. That looked like Galacio got in there with the sack. You gotta love that for the Hackett Sound Tigers. They started this game terrifically with six minutes to go in the second quarter. Couldn't ask for a better half so far. Watch number 60 in the middle there. I believe it was Galacio. Nice job by Clark and getting, getting away, but he couldn't get out of that. And a slew of Tigers were there, including Galacio. So a fourth down for Walk Hill. They'll punt the football. Line drive kick, it takes a Walk Hill Valley roll and Hackestown will let it go. They're gonna get good field position at their own 44 yard line. 5.25 to go in this scoreless game here in the first half. A defensive struggle in the rain. Kind of what we probably would think of, think, you know, coming into the game, it would be this type of game. So Hackestown starts at their own 44. I'd like to thank the Hackestown High School Football Booster Club once again, all season long, supporting their Hackestown Tigers and Morris Sussex Sports. So our appreciation to the Hackestown Football Booster Club. So Hackestown takes over, good field position on their own 44-yard line with 5.25 on the clock. And folks, if you want us to air your game and a timeout, we'll get back to that in a second. Timeout on the field, 5.25 to go. Second quarter, we'll be back right after this, Mars Sussex Sports. 
a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. All right, the clock changed. They reset the clock to 510. It was 525. So maybe that, I don't think there was a team timeout. It was an official timeout possibly to adjust that clock. So 510 remaining. Second quarter, first down for Hackettstown. Matt Gunther takes the snap. Goes right side. He is wrapped up near side. A nice job by Jake Van Ewen, 56. And that brings up a second down. Give him three yards on the play. So second and seven. A flag, was a flag thrown? Yes, it was. Uh, and it's holding against the Tigers. And they'll bring this football back. 10 more yards. No score. Like we said, a tough week for Hackettstown. The entire community mourning the loss of one of their own. Wachill Valley coming in, losers of four in a row. Same with Hackettstown as Gunther takes the snap, goes up the middle, gets out to the 37-yard line. They have to get into Wachill territory to the 46, so a second and a long way to go for the Tigers. 4.30 to go. First half action. And you know, Hackett Sounds had their struggles so far with the snaps. You've got to be careful right here because Wachill's in great field position if anything was able to happen. These snaps are a little high. Gunther has to reach up for him as he runs up the middle across the 40 to the 43. And that brings up third and about 12. We'll call it third and 11 for Hackettstown, just under four minutes to go. You see the middle of the field starting to get more muddy. I mean, that's pretty much where both teams have been so far. Just punting it back yeah, and forth. Between the 35 and 35, and there's a bad snap. And Gunther has to just jump on it. And again, I'm not sure if that was the weather or what that was. That a flag is thrown after the play. Not sure why. Let's take a look at the snap as they figure out the flag. Officials are talking about it. Let's see what happens here on this snap. Yeah, it was just, I, he I got confused with the player coming across. So it was a penalty on each team, so they offset. So we're, we're going to redo the down. It's going to be third and 11. So a penalty on both sides. Now they should bring that football back to the 43, I believe. They're still talking about it. If it was offset penalties, you redo it. Yeah, that's what I would, I would assume. I'm not sure what that was. So they don't move the football. And they're going to mark it at the 32-yard line. And that puts Hackettstown in a terrible position right here with fourth down. Well, see, it was third and 11. I thought they said offsetting penalties. And now Walk Hill Valley wants a timeout. We'll try to figure this out. Timeout on the field, 3.06 to go, second quarter. No score. We'll be back. Mars Sussex Sports. At Paint Paris, we don't just sell paint and paint accessories. We eat, sleep, and breathe it. Not actually, though. That would be weird. 
With our huge selection of incredible Benjamin Moore paints, choosing the right color and finish can be a big decision. Luckily, with over 40 years of experience, we can answer any question you have. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIYer, we have all the tools you need to get the job done right the first time. Ready for your next project? Visit us at Paint Parade or shop online at paintparade.com. So Hackensack back to punt. Gunther punts a line drive into Wallkill territory. It takes a hop, bobbled by Anthony Segroy, but he holds on to it. Hackenstown drags him out of bounds, and Wallkill takes over at their own 40-yard line with 2.54 to go in the first half here at Wallkill Valley. And on that punt, that was a great tackle by number 30, Sam Burke, the senior for the Tigers. And what happened? It must have been the. It must have been a penalty against Hackensack, not offsetting, and Walkhill declined it. That's why, and they kept the ball back after that fumble. So it was a fourth and long. Back to pass, Clark and throwing near side, and one hops it, incomplete pass, and it brings up a second and ten. No score between these two teams for Wallkill Valley. They are in the state playoffs as we speak, but they need to keep winning. You know, and I love the decision by Bobby Leach, letting his quarterback throw it. The running game hasn't gotten going, so let the best player on offense handle it. Rain still coming down. Now they hand off inside. This is Oy, I believe, across the 45 to the 47 yard line. And now brings up third and three, a long three for Walk Hill Valley. Clock ticking down, 234. First half action from Walk Hill. Glad you're with us here, at Mars Sussex Sports. We do have a couple of other games going on today. Not just football, we have a field hockey game. I'm not sure if it's finished, but we have the 101 and Sussex championship game down in Peaburg live. Last I saw Warren Hills, Peaburg, no score in that 101 and Sussex championship game. Oy, right side, trying to get outside. Close to a first down, but he is shy by a yard. And now that brings up fourth and one for the Rangers, under two minutes now. And I wonder if Waco will go for it as they were in much worse field, could, field position and they were able to go for it and it looks like they will. You can see it right there, perfect camera angle. Fourth and inches for Waco. They have to get it to the 50, or right before the 50 yard line. And there's just a minute 30 left in this first half. Clarkin, Zach Clarkin comes up to his center. The offset eye. Inside, handoff, nowhere to go. Hackettstown is there. And a nice job by that Hackettstown defense. Looks like he was number 51, Mason Baptiste. Baptiste with the big play for the Tigers. On fourth and less than one, they stop Walk Hill Valley. And with a minute 13 to go, in the first half, they get the ball at midfield. And maybe a shot here. Let's take a look at it. Watch number 51 in the black. Comes right in. And the handoff was to Nick Mendoza, number zero. So Gunther back to live action, left side. And he is tackled right at midfield. And now timeout is called by Hackettstown. We got a minute three to go here in the first half. We'll take a break. We'll be back. Minute to go, first half. No. fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that.
Now they ran one play off the timeout. Taberzi with the carry gets nowhere. So it's third and 10. Hackettstown calls another timeout. Under a minute to go, 54 seconds left. And Jesse, it's been a defensive struggle. Hackettstown's played pretty good defensively. I mean, you've got to give a lot of credit to their front seven. They've been able to hold this Walk Hill Valley offense in check. And so far, it's been a great defensive battle. And you wonder if Hackett Sound is going to take their chance or if they're just going to say, let's just take it 0-0 at the half. Well, they're calling timeouts. So my guess is they're going to go for it. Third down. They're at the Walk Hill 49-yard line. Whistle blows. And now Walk Hill Valley wants a timeout. So we'll take another break. We'll be back right after this. Mar Sussex Sports. Perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing West offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients, and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers, all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Pasquarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. Third and 10 for Gunther and the Hackensack Tigers, and he is wrapped up immediately. Jaden McNeil in on that tackle for Walk Hill Valley. Now Walk Hill takes another timeout, and we'll keep it here. On third and 10, Gunther took the football, but was met by McNeil right away. Nice job by that Walk Hill defense. And Walk Hill now wants a timeout. There's 46 seconds to go. It's a fourth down for Hackistan. It's fourth and 13 at their own 48. I mean, if you're Walk Hill, you got to assume they're going to take a couple of shots deep to their best target, Jane McNeil. They've, he's been on the island all, so far tonight. We'll see what they can do. So it looks like Hackistan will punt the football. They will not go for it at midfield. For on fourth and 13 with less than a minute to go. You, you know, you start putting that ball in the air and a punt, you never know what can happen. Back deep is Clarkin. Campbell punts it away. And actually, Scroy is there. Spins away. And a nice job by Scroy getting out to midfield. And finally brought down by Kyle Edwards. Number 32. And here we go. Walk Hill's kind of set up at the 50-yard line. I mean, they got 35 seconds left in the half, and I would trust their quarterback to see what he got, and maybe they'll throw it deep. Rain still coming down. It's been a steady rain all game long, as you can tell by those white jerseys for Walk Hill Valley. 35 seconds left in the first half. Still no score. Clarkin, back to pass, looking, throwing, short pass far side. Mendoza makes the catch, but Hackettstown is right there with the tackle. And that was Derna with the tackle, number 35, for the Tigers. Now under 20 seconds to go. Walk Hill in no hurry. Looks like they might just get one more play if they're not able to get out of bounds. Yeah, they're not in any hurry. Down at seven seconds on the clock. Low snap, whistle blows, false start against Walk Hill Valley. And my guess is they're probably just gonna take the knee and go into halftime. I don't blame either coach to let that decision happen. I mean, talk it over. You see what how this game has gone and make your changes. I don't know how many changes you can make when the rain is pouring down the entire time. And that is the end of the first half here at Walk Hill Valley Regional High School. We'll be back. I believe the band will play at halftime. If not, we'll be back for that second half action right after this. No score right here on Mars Sussex Sports. And like to welcome... 
schools. Band members from all four are sending into schools that they are participating tonight. Starts in the single T. The, a single wing offense. You see Matt Gunther, he's in a shotgun. We'll see how it works. High snap, and they fake the handoff, and who gets it right off the bat? And does Hackestown recover? Yes, they do. High snap, and they fake the handoff, and who gets it right off the bat? And does Hackestown recover? Yes, they do. So Hackenstein recovered that. And again, it's a wet day. The rain is out. You see the first snap was, the first snap was missed by, or the handoff was muffed. So no harm for Hackenstein. Now, second down, you see Matt Gunther going to the left and he slips up. And just like that, you see the, the field conditions. As the rain comes down. Yeah, we'll see how the field takes all this rain during this game. Clarkin up to his center, pitches it back. This is Anthony Seguri. Seguri finds some room left side, gets the first down, knocked out 25 of Hackettstown. Clarkin comes up to his center. I formation, they pitch it back. Seguri again with the carry. And he gets a few yards inside the 20 yard line. He is wrapped up by the pregame show. He's having a very good year, over 1,200 yards passing, but he has not thrown the ball. It is raining hard. And this is Segroy with the carry, nothing there. That Hackettstown defense and a fumble on the play and it's Hackettstown ball. Let's see if we can see that. Black lettering. They are getting muddy. It always is fun doing a game on natural turf and you cannot read the numbers. Let's see if that happens today. Low snap again, a problem with the snap. Gunther can't get it, he finally jumps on it. You wonder if he gets any pedicures, how often he gets them. <laughs> I would think he keeps them very busy. Third down, back to pass. Clark and throwing, flags are thrown a little too high. This is gonna go against Walkell Valley and Hackeson will probably decline it. And they do. They're third rank. Yeah, they're number three in North Group Three. So they're they have a home field, home game as of right now coming into this weekend. But they had a forfeit. Gunther up the middle. He's met right away, and he does not get the first down. If they have any trick plays up their sleeve. 40 seconds left first quarter. They will go for it here, Hackenstown. Fourth and five. They have to get to the 39. Here's Matt Gunther trying to get that corner. Gunther finds a hole. He gets the first down inside the 35. And there's Bill Edwards, and he seemed okay as he walked off the field. First down for Walk Hill Valley. They will keep it on the ground. And this is Segroy again. And a nice job by Derna in there. And also, quarterback for Walkell is perfectly clean out there. He has not been touched. He pitches it back. This is Segroy again, right side, but right there, Hackettstown is there. And I believe that was Taberzi again with the tackle. And a Sally from their own 29. There's Clark and he's gonna throw the football. Under pressure, Clark and looking, still on his feet, and he's finally brought down by that Hackettstown defense. He is sacked at the 25 yard line. Four minutes to go. You see the middle of the field starting to get more muddy. I mean, that's pretty much where both teams have been so far. Just punting it back yeah, and forth. Between the 35 and 35, and there's a bad snap. And Gunther has to just jump on it, and again, Clarkin, Zach Clarkin comes up to his center. The offset eye. Inside, handoff, nowhere to go. Hackettstown is there. And a nice job by that Hackettstown defense. Campbell punts it away. And actually, Segroy is there, spins away. And a nice job by Segroy getting out to midfield. And finally brought down by Kyle Edwards. Number 32, and here we go. Um, all right, let's run commercials. Nick, let's yeah. run some commercials. Get 
ready to meet Brandy Brogen of Compass Real Estate. Brandy wants to sell your home with ease and maximize your return on investment, providing a personalized approach that includes deep cleaning, to staging, to professional digital exposure. Brandy's innovative approach provides so much added value that you and your home will feel the VIP difference. Don't wait another day. Reach out to Brandy Brosian today. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose from over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. Enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. 
up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. Majestic Flowers and Gifts, your trusted family owned and operated florist since 2006. Our loyal customers are always satisfied with our attention to detail and customer service. We serve all of Morris County and offer deliveries for any flower needs. Providing our customers with a variety of flowers from prom flowers to anniversary arrangements, wedding centerpieces, get well soon flowers, funeral flowers, and much more. Next time you're thinking of getting flowers for your loved ones and special occasions, rely on Majestic Flowers and Gifts to provide nothing but the highest quality. Stuber Insurance Agency, we work diligently to make sure you get the right insurance for you, your family, and your employees. Within our carefully selected group of financially sound insurance companies, our goal is to find you the best coverage at the most competitive prices. Visit us online to request a quote or make an appointment at 115 Mill Street in Hackettstown. The groups that brought down the house. The legends who changed the world of music. Iconic moments of our lives captured for eternity by the great photographers of our time. All on display and for sale at Legends Gallery at Frames on Main in Chatham. Own the moments and keep alive your most treasured memories. And don't miss our huge gallery of sports art and memorabilia. Or our expert framing of your most valued memories and keepsakes. Legends Gallery at Frames on Main in Chatham. Introducing Gemstone Orthodontics, where brilliance meets compassion in crafting your perfect smile. With a board-certified orthodontist, Dr. Patel, your smile is in expert hands. Our commitment to the latest advancements in technology bring precision and comfort to your orthodontic experience. Whether you are considering braces or liners for yourself or for your child, call today at 908-852-9899 or visit us at www.gemstoneortho.com to schedule a complimentary consultation. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. Brian, we just got a text from your wife. She wants to trade in her car for something else. Chief, I'm a little busy. Uh, she wants it now. Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brian. The fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us? Paul Miller Fast Lane? Who else would do it? Buy a car? Trade a car? Finance a car? Have it delivered completely online? This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, Brian. Isn't that the truth? Get the fast lane, winner. It's the only way to fly. That's fast lane. That was by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Shop and service at your most trusted local Ford dealership, serving Morris, Sussex, and all of New Jersey. Come experience why so many people buy and service from us over and over again. Our sales and service department make you feel at home, and there's never any pressure. Maplecrest Ford of Mendham is here for all your vehicle needs. For sales and service, call 888-797-7003 or go to maplecrestford.com. 
Sport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes to buying your new Acura. So why shop with dealers that don't value your time or play games with you? Why not choose a dealership that always values their clients' time and has set a benchmark in customer service for nearly 40 years? Make it easy. Choose Auto Sport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Auto Sport Acura of Denville. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry, the team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. you can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com the county college of morris foundation annual golf classic is coming to brook lake country club in florham park on monday october 16th golfers will enjoy 18 holes of golf on one of new jersey's premier courses between a barbecue lunch spread and a buffet dinner Registration begins at 11 a.m., giving golfers access to the locker room, driving range, and lunch in the clubhouse before our 12.30 shotgun start. At 5 p.m., enjoy an open bar cocktail reception prior to our 6 p.m. dinner and awards program. Proceeds benefit CCM student athletes. Register online at ccm.edu slash foundation slash golf. James Ultimo, your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. Step-by-step -step painting and general contracting, your trusted partner for all your home needs. For over two decades, we've brought our clients' visions to life throughout northern New Jersey. Our team of professionals and commitment to excellence deliver outstanding results. From painting, bathroom and kitchen renovations, additions, remodeling, and custom faux work, we've got you covered. Our team tackles projects of all sizes and complexities. Step-by-step -step painting, building dreams, one project at a time. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here.
The green wave isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. Let's go! We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true, putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll wave. Come visit Angelina's Trotteria, located at 184 Columbia Turnpike, Florham Park, New Jersey. We are your neighborhood BYOB. Stop in and join us for lunch or dinner. Angelina's is proud to offer visitors the following specials. Tuesdays are two for two large pizzas for only $22. On Wednesdays, kids under 10 eat free. Thursday night is pasta night. All pastas on the menu are 20% off. Family serving friends can stop into Angelina's and let our family serve yours. Contact Mary Comito for an auto quote today. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WISP supports my passions. I truly believe that WISP wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Cortez Disposal is a leader in the solid waste industry. We offer dumpster roll-off containers for residential, commercial, and industrial needs all over New Jersey. We are women-owned and family-operated. Cortez Disposal, where, where your garbage, garbage is, is our life. life. All right, we're getting ready for the second half here at Walk Hill Valley Regional High School. Rain still coming down. It is not stopping. So we're going to have it, I believe, the entire second half. Joel Kanye, Jesse Landino along with you at halftime. Also, Nick Prill producing today for us. Justin Haight on camera and everybody back at County College of Mars getting set for the second half. No score in the first half. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Growing a Knowing Academy, celebrating 10 years of unparalleled early educational excellence at GKA. You can always be sure your child will not only have a one-of-a-kind educational journey, but also become part of the GKA family. And it takes a village to raise a child. Join now and let us become part of your village. Every day you'll be excited to hear the answer to your question at the dinner table. How was your day? Contact them at 973-209-1350 or gkacademy at outlook.com. Growing and Knowing Academy. Thank you to them. Also, thank you to KRP Automotive Repair in Franklin, Sussex County's most trusted automotive repair shop, as displayed by being the only five-star Google-rated shop. They're the only full-service foreign, domestic, and diesel repair shop 1995 for regular oil change, 3995 for synthetic. Make an appointment online. Go to krpauto.com. Call them 973-577-6390. We're getting ready for kickoff here. By the way, KRP Automotive Repair, we fix everything. Jesse, no score that first half. Defensive battle. I mean, Hackensack's been able to dominate on the defensive side. They've been able to lock up Jaden McNeil for the very few times they've thrown the ball. And I think it's a big problem for this Waco offense. I'm going to look to get this passing game going if I'm Waco. 
Ball is on the ground. He kneeled down, and that was Clarkin who retrieved that kickoff, and they'll take over at the 18-yard line. So Walkill takes over at their own 18 as we start the second half. Pleasure having you along with us on the Mars Sussex Sports Network. There you see the score, no score. Rain coming down, heavy, steady. They mark it at the 20 now. That's where Walkill starts the third quarter. Again, Walkill needs a win to keep their playoff hopes going in North Group 1. For Hackettstown, they just want to stop this four-game losing streak. Both teams, four-game losing streaks. There's a complete pass near side, and it is caught by Connor Hobie, the sophomore. His first look on the field, it looks like, is he's got the brightest uniform, Jesse. I mean, and there's a great decision by this Walk Hill offense. I get the passing game going, get an easy completion, and it's gonna should be a good one for this second half. Give him five on the play, second and five, out to the 25-yard line. As we get going here, second half action. Clarkin in a shotgun, low snap, hands off. This is Oy, and nothing there. That Hackettstown defense is right there. Gabe Oy, the senior, 5'8", 170, but that defensive line for Hackettstown right there. I and mean, again, Galacio, I believe, in on that. This Hackettstown front seven has been all over the field tonight, not letting anything going on the ground for Walk Hill. Second, uh, check that, third and four for Walk Hill Valley. Clarkin in a shotgun, again a low snap, throwing near side, completes it, and right at the marker gets the first down. And again, that's Connor Hobie with the catch, and a first down for the Rangers. Like you said, go go to the air, and they're doing it. And on the season before this game, Connor Hobie has 19 catches for 168 yards. He's one of their best receivers out there. And I love that they're gonna get this passing game going. It's a quick pass to the right. We'll see it right here on the replay. And Hobie was in the slot there, number eight. And just nice quick pass. Got the five yards, actually got out to the 32. So it's first down for Walkill. Another passing play. Far side, it is complete. Gets about six, seven yards on the play. If he kept his feet, he might have been gone, but he slipped down. So that puts the ball at the 40-yard line as they bring in a dry ball. You see the young man running with the wet ball back to the sideline. And a second down for the Rangers, second and three. And you could already see how this Waco Valley offense has made their changes in the spread offense. This is Oy. Gets about to the first down marker. And I believe the tackle, Luke Fazenko, the junior, in on that tackle, 44 for Hackettstown. And a first down for Walk Hill Valley. Out to the 43-yard line. First drive of the second half. Nine minutes to go. Here in the third quarter, rain keeps coming down. Shotgun handoff. This is Oy again across the 45 to the 48 yard line. Decent yardage, four yards, let's say, on the play. And now a second down for the Walk Hill Valley Rangers. Walk Hill came in at two and five. Pakistan one and six. Both teams on four game losing streaks. So we're seeing a mixture of run and pass here on this first drive by Walk Hill. And I love the decision that they've made the switch to the spread offense as they're just making it a cleaner look for the running game. Ball at their own 48, second down and we'll call it five. Clarkin gets it, flag is thrown, he's wrapped up right at the first down marker. This may go against Walk Hill Valley. Flag thrown near side. We'll see what it is. Still waiting to hear 
the call. Again, folks, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't miss any of the action. We have so many sports. Football, soccer, field hockey, boys and girls. Of course, all winter long, all spring long. This will go against Walk Hill Valley. They'll mark the ball backward. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to advertise with us, there's that phone number. Sponsor one of those trading cards or a school. Sponsor a school's trading cards. Very affordable. Get you in front of millions of eyeballs across our social media sites. The interaction on our social media sites is insane. So much interaction with those player cards and other content we put up there. Give George Muha, shoot him an email, george at marsussexsports.com. It's very affordable and you get your business in front locally and across the region on our broadcasts. In a shotgun, second down for Wallkill and 12. Under pressure, spins, almost falls down, but he's still on his feet, Clark and far side, and he's finally wrapped up. Nice job by Zach Clark and Matt Gunther. Check that, that wasn't Gunther. Who, who was that tackle for Hackettstown? Finally made the tackle. And it brings up a third down for Walk Hill Valley. But Clarkin getting out of that scramble. I thought he was going to fall there for a second, but he kept his balance. And you see how big that penalty was because they would have been a lot more manageable in this third down. Yeah, it's third and seven right now from their own 46. Shotgun for Clarkin. Gives it to Scroy. Nice job. And he does not get the first down. The defense for Hackenstein. Kyle Edwards came across with the tackle. It was a nice job. They're going to mark it. Depends where they mark it. Yeah, they're shy of a first down. So fourth and one. They mark it at the Hackenstein 48-yard line. And if we're going off the trends of this Bobby Leach, Walk Hill offense, you got to assume that they're going to go for it. There you go. Nice job right there by Edwards. Did not get the first down. So fourth and short for Walk Hill. They will go for it here. Why not? There's six minutes to go, third quarter. Still yet to score here, either team. And a shotgun. They hand off. This is Oy. He's tripped up, but he does dive forward. It looks like he gets enough for the first down. They may have to measure this. Depends where they spot the football. He slipped. On that paint, the Walk Hill Valley logo is black, and he slipped on that in the mud and all that, and they have not given them a first down yet. I think they're going to measure. So let's see what they say here. Clock stopped. Bring out the sticks. Let's see what they say. And it looks like they got enough for the first down. Yes, they do. So a nice run by the big guy, Gabe Oy, the senior, number 20. You know, this is one of Wachill's best drives today, eating up a lot of clock and moving down the field. Oh, they've had the ball the entire quarter. So we're over six-minute drive. They started at their own 20-yard line, so they've only gone 33 yards. It's taken them over six minutes now but they're moving the football little by little you gotta love that if you're walk hill eating up all this clock first down for the rangers now in hackettstown territory looking to pass clark and he is brought down he is sacked by hackettstown Let's see who that was with that sack. Mason Burke with the sack, it looked like, number 53. It's tough to tell with the mud on his back. Let's see who gets that. But Clarkin did, started to fall down. Yeah, that was, I think it was 53. Nice job by Mason Burke. And now brings up a second and long for Walkhill. But they've held the ball the entire third quarter. 
And I know there hasn't been any scores or any points put up on the board, but every time Waco makes a play, Hackensack makes a play right back. Throw far side, completes it, but not much there. Back to the original line of scrimmage, the 40... Seven yard line, and that brings up a third and ten. And they've held this ball almost eight minutes now here in the third quarter. Hackestown has not gotten the ball offensively. 4.03 to go here in the third. And you got to give a lot of credit to this Hackestown defense. Although they haven't been able to get the ball for their offense, they haven't allowed this Walk Hill offense to be able to score so far. Third and 10, 345 remaining. Over eight minute drive for Walk Hill Valley. Low snap, shotgun, Clarkin throws. And far side, did he catch the football? Yeah, he did, that was a catch, but he's shy of a first down and he did not go out of bounds. So clock continues to run. They mark it at the 40. They need three yards, as you can see right there. It's gonna be a fourth and three for the Rangers at the Hackettstown 40. 3.13 to go in the third quarter. Coming up on a nine minute drive. This would be a big stop if Hackettstown is able to get it. Fourth and three for Walkill. Two wideouts near side. Clarkin up to his center. Man in motion comes near side. Clark and fakes the handoff. They babble the handoff. They do not get the first down. It was Oy with the carry, and they do not get the first down. They turn it over on downs, and Hackettstown gets it back. A nine-minute, 17-second drive, and they get nothing out of it. Looks like Aiden Derna and the crew was able to get the stop up front, and you got to give a lot of credit to this Hackettstown front seven. They've had a long game, ground and pound all day today, and they haven't quit yet. And they take over at their own 39 yard line. Still no score, here's Matt Gunther. Trying to run up the middle, they stopped the play. So a flag, and there was a false start against Hackestown. So they'll move the ball back five more yards. That drive went nine minutes, 17 seconds. They got it to the 40. So little bits and pieces, but they couldn't go any further. They turned it over on downs. That's all. one of the longest drives you'll see and not a score. This really has just been a field of position game, and I don't think other team has been inside the red zone today. I think you're right. I don't think they have as they run right side out to the 36-yard line. Again, right there, Jake Van Uwen, the junior for Walk Hill Valley. Second, maybe a yard on the play. Second and 14 for Hackensack. They have to get it out to the 49 yard line. It's at the 35. And if you're Mike Eric Halian, you gotta love how this team has fought with so many injuries across the board. A high snap and Gunther just has to jump on it inside the 20 yard line. And once again, the snap hurts Hackettstown. And now that's gonna bring up a third and forever for the Tigers. They've marked the ball at the 20, they have to get to the 49. So third and 29 here for Hackettstown. A minute 23 to go. We'll see that high snap on second and 14 here. It just goes over his head. And he does the right thing here, just jumps on the football. So back to live action, a minute eight to go. Third and a long way. They gotta get it out to the 49 yard line on their own 20, third and 29. Matt Gunther, right side, and nowhere to go. A few yards on the play. Great job by the Walk Hill Valley Rangers. Nick Mendoza in on that tackle. And that's gonna bring up fourth and long. Hackettstown's gonna to have to punt the full football and good field position most likely for Walkill. And if you're Walkill, I wouldn't be too surprised if they rush a lot of people up here, try to get, disrupt the punt, because they're in great field position if they're able to get any stops. Two back deep for Walkill. Gunther gets it off, a line drive kick. Walkill lets it drop, it'll stop in the mud. 
just about at midfield at the Walkill 48 yard line. So they do get good field position. 17 seconds to go, Walkill Valley here in the third quarter will get the ball at their own 48. You know, if I'm Walkill, I'd love to take a shot all the way downfield to Jaden McNeil, try to get a touchdown before the end of this quarter, take a shot with one of your best receivers on the outside. This Hackettstown defense has been playing one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and I just love that decision if I'm Bobby Leach. McNeil on the season coming into today's action with 40 receptions. I don't think he has a reception today. I think he has one. He was across the sideline, one of the contested catches, one of the few today. Not too many with the downpour. Rain still comes down. 17 seconds remaining. Third quarter. Handoff. Sergroy with the football. Has some room. Nice job by Sergroy. Gets into Hackestown territory about nine yards on the play. It'll bring up a second and short for Walk Hill. And that's going to be the end of quarter number three. We remain scoreless from Walk Hill Valley. Tigers, Rangers. We'll be back fourth quarter after this, Mars Sussex Sports. Did you know that safe medication disposal not only protects your young athletes, but also the environment they play in? Be a proactive guardian. Safeguard your home by disposing of medications properly through drop-off sites in New Jersey, located at most police departments and designated pharmacies. By doing so, you help prevent pollution of our precious environment, ensuring clean waterways and healthier surroundings for your young champions. Make a positive impact on their lives and the planet. Safely dispose of unused and unwanted medications today. DNA Landscaping, we service all of your lawn care needs. We are a full service lawn care and landscaping company providing traditional needs such as lawn maintenance, planting, trimming, mulch, tree removal, and stump grinding, as well as landscape design and snow removal. With over 10 years of experience serving Morris and Sussex counties for both residential and commercial properties, call DNA Landscaping at 973-223-5845. All right, we're back here at Walkill Valley. Yep, that's the score. It is correct. It's 0-0, Hackettstown and Walkill Valley as we start the fourth quarter. Walkill get has the ball second and one in Hackettstown territory at the 43-yard line. So second and one. Clarkin throws near side, and he completes it. And a first down for Walkill Valley. Completion to Jaden McNeil. Guess who? He gets the catch right there, number 11. Their leading receiver. Getting him involved in this offense. So first down for Walkill at the 38 yard line. Mars Sussex Sports, pleasure having you with us. Joel Kanye, Jesse Landino, and the crew from the Mars Sussex Sports Network from Walkill Valley. Rainy Walkill. Clarkin pumps, throws deep, has Jaden McNeil wide open. He makes a diving catch and a first down. Oh, what a pretty play. And they do take a shot down near sideline. You got to trust your best players that they're going to be able to make a play as Jaden McNeil was able to make a play right there. We'll see it again right here. McNeil just balls out here, lays himself out. Beautiful pass, a pump there by Clarkin, and he laid himself out, made the catch. It was good right at the 11-yard line. First down for Walkill at their Hackestown 11. They pitch it back. Now a reverse, a trick play out to Jaden McNeil. Clarkin with the block. McNeil goes in the end zone. Touchdown. 11 yards, Jaden McNeil. How about the block by Zach Clarkin? And Walkill on the scoreboard. They take a six nothing lead. How about that? You gotta love the effort from Clarkin. Get your quarterback blocking out in front for McNeil. They pitch it and they reverse it and watch Clarkin right there with a block. Enough to get McNeil outside and into the end zone from 11 yards out. We finally have a score. And Walkill with a six nothing lead. Extra point is good. Joe Kerbin with the extra point. And it's seven nothing Walkill, 11 yard run. 
by McNeil. Why don't we do this? We'll take a break. 10.37 to go in the fourth quarter. 7-0 Walk Hill. The Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. So Walker Valley has had the ball most of the second half. That was a 52-yard drive. The big play was the long pass to Jaden McNeil, their best player, and then he gets in on that run on the trick play, the reverse, as Hackstown comes out across the 25 to the 26-yard line. But Jesse Landino, you said it at halftime, you know, you gotta trust your star players and maybe take some shots when they did. I mean, McNeil has been one of their key players for Waco all season. And another key player for them is Zach Larkin as he was able to get the great block on the outside, great play calling from this Waco offense. Now for Hackestown looking to come back. They're trailing seven nothing as Matt Gunther comes to the right side and he's tripped up at about the 38 yard line brought down by Joey Macaro the junior, as the rain continues to fall here at Walk Hill Valley with 10.07 to go in the fourth quarter. I do want to mention the, as another high snap, it goes over Gunther's head and he has to jump on it again inside the 20 yard line. They seem, they seem to have had that fixed from early in the season, but they're right back at it with those high snaps, and just these mistakes have been killing Hackettstown all year. <clears throat> I do want to mention Josh Kanya on the Hackettstown sideline, a heart of the giant. He won week three. He's now a finalist. I want to congratulate my son. He is my son. I'm very proud. Joshua Kanya, 99 for Hackettstown on the sideline, and he got Hackettstown from winning week three of Heart of a Giant, Whistle Blows, he got Hackettstown a $1,000 grant for equipment to the Hackettstown football program. So I'm absolutely ecstatic for my son, for Josh, winning that Heart of the Giant week three. He's now a finalist. He's up against, I think, other nine or ten other athletes uh, for Heart of a Giant. He has to make a five-minute video and uh, submit it in a couple of weeks, and then they vote after that. But I'd like to thank all family and friends for voting for him and winning that week three. Very proud dad right here for my son. There's a throw by Matt Gunther, throws it. It is almost picked off. And that was Clarkin again, but it was not picked. And that would have been Clarkin's second interception of the night so far. I mean, he's a player on both sides of the field, player on offense and clearly a ball hawk on defense. Doing a great job defensively for Walk Hill Valley. It's now fourth and a long way to go again for Hackettstown. They have to get it out to the 45-yard line. So fourth and 30, Gunther will punt the football. And a short punt, that'll go out of bounds. And Walk Hill Valley will have great field position at about the 35-yard line. And with how this game is go, has gone in the second half, you wonder if Walk Hill would love to repeat that last second-to-last drive where they're able to bring down the clock all the way down nine minutes with just under nine minutes to go right now. They would love for that to happen. Once again, we'd like to thank Growing and Knowing Academy. They celebrate 10 years of unparalleled early educational excellence. Give them a call, 973-209-1350, or email them, gkacademy at outlook.com. Also, thank you to KRP Automotive Repair in Franklin, their Sussex County's most trusted automotive repair shop, as now Walk Hill Valley will run the football. 
And that was Oy with the carry, but a flag was thrown. I don't think that play will count. So thank you to KRP Automotive Repair. Make an appointment online. Go to krpauto.com. Call them at 973-577-6390. They're the only five-star Google-rated shop. KRP Automotive Repair. Right there, top right corner of your screen. And once again, we like to thank the Hackenstein High School Football Booster Club. All season long, the booster clubs do... It's not an easy job running those booster clubs and getting support for the football team or any sports team. But the Hackenstein High School Football Booster Club has done a tremendous job. Contact them if you want to sponsor one of their games, hhstigersfootball at gmail.com. First down after the penalty. Throws it near side. McNeil with the catch. And boy, we've called McNeil's name many times here in the second half. I think it's a smart decision. Give the ball to one of your best offensive players, and you see that it's working. Walkell, a 7 nothing lead, an 11-yard run by McNeil on a reverse. He got into the end zone, the only scoring in this game here in the fourth quarter. You know, another thing I've noted is ever since they scored that touchdown, they haven't come out in that spread gun offense. They've been under center trying to just waste the clock. You see that right now with Clark. And now, oh, when we say that, he goes into a shotgun. How about that? Now he's going to run with the football on his own, quarterback, far side. He's brought down at about the 28-yard line. And that was a set play. Flag on the play as the clock stops at 7.13 in the fourth quarter. If you're Hackenstein right now, you need a stop and get that football right back. I mean, Hackettstown is a team that doesn't quit. They've been able to hold a lot of teams to low-scoring games. I mean, the game I was with you, I was par partnered with you earlier in the game, Kittatinny, they were winning 7 nothing In the fourth quarter, yeah. Ended up losing that game to Kittatinny. That was week two. There, well, we, it was actually week one officially because Hackettstown had played week zero. That was the second game of the year for Hackettstown. They lost that game 15-7. to but defensively has been very good this season. The ball is at the 45-yard line. There's seven minutes remaining. They have to get to the Hackettstown 28. So second and 17 for Walk Hill Valley. In a shotgun, Clarkin throws near side. Here is McNeil. McNeil slips. It is not easy to get a grip. Kyle Edwards with the tackle, and you see him slipping away. He can't get a grip. It's just the rain just keeps coming down. I mean, you can't do too much dancing out there with the way this weather's going, but got to love that this offense has found their groove. But, I mean, it's a big third down play right here with just about six minutes to go. This would be a big stop for the Tigers. It's third and long. They mark it at the 44. Need to get to the 28. So third down, 16 for the Rangers. <clears throat> Six minutes on the clock. Man in motion is Mendoza. They hand off. They lose the ball, but they jump on it. And a muffed snap right there, or a muffed handoff, I should say. And Walker Valley does get on it. And that brings up fourth down and long. And I got to figure they're going to punt the football and pin Hackestown even further with a 7 nothing lead. I think that would be the best decision if you're Walk Hill. And although they weren't able to get any really big positive yards on that play, it looked like it would have worked if it wasn't for the fumble. They will punt the football. Gabe Oy is back at his own 42-yard line. He'll punt, and the whistle blows. 5.17 remaining on the clock. And this will go against the Hackettstown Tigers. The too many men on the field for Hackettstown as the official walks it off down to the 40-yard line. Still fourth and long, though. Fourth and 13 for Walk Hill. They're still going to punt the football. So Oy now stands at his own 47. 
gets his punt. It gets gets off, and Campbell muffed the punt, and I believe Hackettstown recovered the football. And Tigers have the ball with 4.54 to go in the game, and uh, they mark it at the 10-yard line. So Campbell came up on that football and tried to catch it, but again, the weather, it's not easy looking through those raindrops. And the ball is wet. Luckily for Hackettstown, they recovered. Here's Gunther in the shotgun. Matt Gunther looking for the corner. Goes across the 10 to about the 13 or 14 yard line. Again, the tackle by Jake Van Uwen. And don't forget, folks, we have our Climate Care LLC player of the game on our social media sites. Keep following Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all those all those social media. We'll have our post-game interview with the player of the game. I mean, right now, maybe Jaden McNeil. Another high snap. Gunther gets it. Had some room. He fumbles the football, and it's Walk Hill Valley ball. So Gunther had a little green there, but coughs it up. And right to Walk Hill Valley, and they take over with 4.15 on the clock. At the Hackettstown 19 yard line. Again, it was a higher snap for Matt Gunther. I mean, you just had to assume at some point a ball was going to go Walk Hill's way with so many fumbles and snap, like missed snaps. And guess who recovered? It was Zach Clark Clarkin. So he's all over the place for Walk Hill Valley. So Clarkin with the recovery, the quarterback now. Starts at the 19-yard line, 4.15 to go in the fourth quarter. Rainy Walk Hill Valley. Got to figure the Rangers will run this football. Just, I mean, he holds the football. He's brought down. That was Sam Burke with the tackle. He wasn't sure what he wanted to do. He was going to pitch it at the last second, and he got tackled by Burke. You know, you were saying it didn't look like he knew what to do right there, but Sam Burke looked like he knew what he was doing right there, able to make a great defensive play for this Hackettstown defense. Hackettstown's still in this game. I believe they have all their timeouts remaining. And what, right now, if you're Hackettstown, you're reaching for that ball, trying to create some type of fumble or turnover. Second and long for Walk Hill. Sloppy field here at Walk Hill Valley. Clark and hands off. This is Segroy down to the 20 yard line. A few yards on the play and the clock stops. Timeout for Hackenstown. 321 to go here at Walk Hill Valley. The Rangers have a seven nothing lead. We'll take a break. Timeout on the field right here at Mars Sussex Sports. We eat, sleep, and breathe it. Not actually, though. That would be weird. With our huge selection of incredible Benjamin Moore paints, choosing the right color and finish can be a big decision. Luckily, with over 40 years of experience, we can answer any question you have. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIYer, we have all the tools you need to get the job done right the first time. Ready for your next project? Visit us at Paint Parade or shop online at paintparade.com. You see the clock, 321. Walk Hill up 7 0. Timeouts, Hackasan with two more. Third and long for Walk Hill Valley in Hackettstown territory at the 19 yard line. Third and about 11 for Walk Hill. A fake handoff inside, and this is Mendoza inside the 10. Derna comes up with the tackle, but very close to a first down. And it will be a first down for Walk Hill Valley. That is a killer for Hackettstown. That's a nice play. It was a inside counter play for Walk Hill Valley. Nice fake here. And got it to Mendoza and a nice run by Walk Hill Valley. And a first and goal now for the Rangers. They mark it at the eight yard line. First and goal from the eight. Clarkin under center. 
Inside, Segroy, maybe a yard or two on the play up the gut. And now Hackenstein will call their last time out, I believe. Yes, they do. 2.25 on the clock. Walk Hill up 7 nothing. We'll be back from Walk Hill Valley right after this. Rain coming down at Walk Hill Valley Regional High School in beautiful Sussex County, New Jersey. Here's the, let's reset it for you. 2.25 on the clock. Walk Hill, a seven nothing lead. They have a second and goal at the seven yard line. And for Hackettstown, you need some type of turnover here. You cannot let them score. They have a long way to go here for that to happen. I mean, if you're Hackettstown, you've been great defensively. You haven't been able to get any turnovers going, like you were just saying. Clarkin up to his center. They hand off inside, and this is Mendoza. Gets nothing on the carry. And Hackettstown calls a timeout. That's their last timeout. We'll take a quick break. Right after this, Mars Sussex Sports. Greasy made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Joel Kanye, Jesse Landino back here at Walk Hill Valley. Third and goal, big play here on the seven yard line. We gotta figure this is four down territory and Walk Hill can run the clock way down even if they don't score a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, you rarely see field goals at the high school level. Landino, or yeah, this is Clark and throws it in the end zone. Incomplete pass. Landino, were you ever a quarterback? I just no. called your name. <laughs> Whenever I play with my friends at Maple Grange, we I'm I'm usually the quarterback though. So there you go. All right. So fourth down, fourth and goal. They will try a field goal here for Walk Hill Valley. Joe Kerbin, the sophomore, in for the field goal, and this will be a 24-yard field goal attempt by Kerbin. A big play right here. Kick is up. Kick is up, and it is good. It just gets over the crossbar, and that will clinch it for Walker Valley pretty much as they take a 10-0 lead, a 24-yard field goal by Joe Kerbin, and it's 10-0 Walk Hill Valley. We'll take a break. You see the clock, 2.13 on the clock. We'll be back right after this from our Sussex Sports. Working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. All right, 2.08 on the clock here, sec, uh, second half, fourth quarter. And Walk Hill Valley, a 10-0 lead, keeping their playoff hopes alive as Walk Hill will kick off. They're in North Group 1, and they needed to keep their playoff hopes alive by winning today, and it looks like they're going to with a 10-0 lead. All 10 points here in the fourth quarter. We had a scoreless game going into the fourth quarter. And now there's two minutes to go. Hackettstown trailing by two scores. They're gonna have to open it up somehow. Try to get something going, some miracle. And you gotta assume that they would go to their throwing quarterback, Ethan Campbell, 
in this situation. Uh, they're sticking with, well, that is, that, I believe that is Ethan Campbell. Campbell, is that, no, that is Matt Gunther. And he throws and incomplete right at midfield. They start this drive at their own 35 yard line. That brings up a second and 10. The only scores in this game, an 11 yard run by Jaden McNeil and a 24 yard field goal by Joe Kerbin. And that's it, 10 nothing. In the rain, throws it up in the air, knocked away. Right at the 45 yard line of Walk Hill Valley. Intended receiver was Derna for Hackettstown. And it looks like it was Nick Mendoza with the pass deflection. Now we really didn't talk about this much, but Hackettstown, their game next week is a bit in question with Warren Hills. So this may be their last game of the year, although coach Eric Kelly, as they throw far side, incomplete, as the receiver fell in the mud, and that brings up a fourth down. But Coach Eric Kelly did tell me that they would play. They would look for another school because it's senior night. They had ceremonies set up. And if they don't play next week, they might play the following week if they find a school. So we'll see what happens. I don't think this will be Hackestown's last game. Hopefully it's not for these seniors at Hackestown. Exactly. Throw far side and an incomplete. It is a just tough to grab the ball. But Akistan is trying. That was fourth down. They turned the ball over on downs. And Walk Hill Valley comes out. And they'll take victory formations, run out the clock, and get their third win of the season. It'll be their first win in over a month for Walk Hill Valley. And a big one for them. Definitely a big one with the season winding down. Gives a lot of confidence to this group. And still in the playoff hunt in North Group 1. Here is the formation. They will just take the knee. As the clock will run, Hackestown cannot stop the clock. A minute 30 to go. And for Hackestown, after a very hard week for these kids at it's been a very difficult week at school after the tragedy last week and give them a lot of credit. They played really with their hearts out today. It was a tough game to play in the rain and the field conditions. They really played a, a nice game. So hats off to Hackettstown. It was a very hard week for them. Got to live Got to give a lot of credit to this Hackettstown team, like you were just saying. They fought all year long, and things just haven't gone their way. And I know Mike Eric Halian will definitely fix things up for the next time they play and for next season. Now 45 seconds remaining. And Walkell will take one more knee, and that's it. No, no, they're going to run off. They don't have to take a knee. As they run off the field, that is it. And Walkell Valley will win this game 10 Nothing. That will be it. So Walk Hill ups their record to three and five, and Hackestown drops to one and seven. Next week, Hackestown has their big rival game, 98th time. They'll face each other. They'll play Warren Hills at home. And for Walk Hill Valley, they play at Kittatinny in a very big game for the Walk Hill Valley Rangers. As you see the final 10 nothing as the clock ticks down. Officially two zeros. They shake hands at midfield. Jesse, solid win for Waco Valley. Very good win for Waco Valley as they were able to get one of their key players, Jaden McNeil, into the end zone and they're able to get a field goal to end the game 10 0. That wraps it up. Waco with a 10 0 win for everybody here at Mars Sussex Sports. Nick Prill producing Justin Eight on camera, Jesse Landino. I'm Joel Kanya. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Clarkin, Zach Clarkin comes up to his center the offset eye 
Inside, handoff, nowhere to go. Hackettstown is there. And a nice job by that Hackettstown defense. Campbell punted away. And actually, Segroy is there. Spins away. And a nice job by Segroy getting out to midfield. And finally brought down by Kyle Edwards, number 32. And here we go. Again, Wallkill needs a win to keep their playoff hopes going in North Group 1. For Hackettstown, they just want to stop this four-game losing streak. Both teams, four-game losing streaks. So there's a complete pass near side. And it is caught. Second, or check that, third and four for Walk Hill Valley. Clarkin in a shotgun, again a low snap, throwing near side, completes it, and right at the marker gets a first down. And again, that's Connor Hobie with the catch. And, a, and across the region on our broadcasts. In a shotgun, second down for Walk Hill and 12. Under pressure, spins, almost falls down, but he's still on his feet. Clarkin far side, and he's finally wrapped up. Nice job on their own 46. Shotgun for Clarkin, gives it to Scroy. Nice job, and he does not get the first down. The defense for Hackenstein, Kyle Edwards came across with the tackle. It was a nice job. Over six minutes now, but they're moving the football little by little. You gotta love that if you're Walk Hill eating up all this clock. First down for the Rangers, now in Hackettstown territory. Looking to pass Clark, and he is brought down. He Walk Hill. Two wideouts near side. Clark and up to his center. Man in motion comes near side. Clark and fakes the handoff. They babble the handoff. They do not get the first down. It was Oi with the carry, and they do not get the first down. They turn it over. Second and 14 for Hackenstein. They have to get it out to the 49 yard line. It's at the 35. And if you're Mike Eric Halian, you gotta love how this team has fought with so many injuries across the board. A high snap, and Gunther just has to jump on it inside the 20 with us. Joel Kanye, Jesse Landino, and the crew from the Mars Sussex Sports Network from Walk Hill Valley. Rainy Walk Hill. Clarkin pumps, throws deep, has Jaden McNeil wide open. He makes a diving catch and a fine. First down for Walk Hill at their Hackestown 11. They pitch it back, now a reverse, a trick play, out to Jaden McNeil, Clarkin with the block, McNeil goes in the end zone, touchdown! 11 yards, Jaden McNeil. As the rain continues to fall here at Walk Hill Valley with 10.07 to go in the fourth quarter. I do wanna mention the as another high snap, it goes over Gunther's head and he has to, and then they vote after that. But I'd like to thank all family and friends for voting for him and winning that week three. Very proud dad right here for my son. There's a throw by Matt Gunther, throws it. It is almost picked off. And that was Clark in and 28. So second and 17 for Walk Hill Valley. In a shotgun, Clarkin throws near side. Here's McNeil. McNeil slips. It is not easy to get a grip. Kyle Edwards with the tackle. And you see him. So third down, 16 for the Rangers. Six minutes on the clock. Man in motion is Mendoza. They hand off. They lose the ball, but they jump on it. And a must ball kill. They're still going to punt the football. So Oi now stands at his own 47. Gets his punt. It gets gets off and Campbell muffed the punt and I believe Hackettstown recovered the football. Uh, all those in, all those social media will have our post game interview with the player of the game. I mean right now maybe Jaden McNeil. Another high snap. Gunther gets it. Had some room, he fumbles the football, and it's Walk Hill Valley ball. <laughs> Gotta figure the Rangers will run this football. Just, he holds the football, he's brought down. That was Sam Burke with the tackle. Wasn't sure what he wanted to do. He's down territory at the 19 yard line. 
Third and about 11 for Walk Hill. A fake handoff inside, and this is Mendoza inside the 10. Derna comes up with the tackle, but school, so we'll see what happens. I don't think this will be Hackestown's last game. Hopefully it's not for these seniors at Hackestown. Exactly. Throw far side and incomplete. It is a just tough to grab the ball. But Akasan is trying. 